What are the advantages of using uh, oversized tires for your truck or car? I got by the idea that uh, I may want to go off-road or uh, drive in a snow, deeper snow and larger tires would give me a little bit of extra clearance, maybe an inch or two. And after a number of years of uh, driving small trucks, I look back in time and I realize that I'm not a really regular off-road user. I'm not going off-road a lot. And I thought, What's the advantage beside the clearance? What's the advantage here to have uh, oversized tires? And I don't see any. I don't see any. So I just swapped the uh, old terrain tires, or I will use it in the summertime, uh, summertime, to my winter tires, and I put my uh, uh, good brand uh, Nokian Hakapelita tires on my car and the same size like these ones so they are oversized for the specified size which is mounted uh, on most cars on the uh, door on the side of the door on an aluminum plate or, a, or a, just a sticker that tells you which is the correct tire pressure and correct tire size so my winter tires are this size and my all terrain tires are or all season tires are this size, are two of them are here, the other two I put it already in as my storage locker. And I'm trying to pull this cart around and it's so heavy. It tells me that these two these two uh, wheels alone weigh probably fifty kilos, like a hundred pounds, I guess. Or probably more because it's very heavy. I know if I put a person on this one, like a 70 kilo person on this cart, I know how kind of a, how heavy it is. I'm not, it's not accurate measurement, but this one's probably 50, 60 kilos. And if you have four tires, so you have four tires, it's already almost 200 kilos. Almost 200 kilos. Now the difference between the original ones and the extra size ones might be 40 kilos more. I can't say exactly, it could be less than that, but why you need to carry that constant 30 kilos and pay fuel for that, that weight, that weight, is that weight. And another reason not to use uh, oversized tires is because the extra weight, it was not... Uh, uh, taken in consideration by the car manufacturer engineers in, in regards to the uh, suspension uh, ball joints, suspension mechanism, the steering mechanism, and every mechanical part that's part of the uh, uh, that's attached to the wheel. So all that vibration, all that banging, all that uh, uh, stress that comes from uh, these wheels moving up and down when you go off road, when you go over the bumpers and any other driving conditions that are not normal when these are just rolling. Uh, put extra stress that was not calculated when they selected uh, the suspension parts of, for your car. And I noticed um, some wear and tear on my, uh, my suspension system. I, uh, I bought cheap aftermarket parts for for my uh, steering part and like uh, two tie rod ends and they are gone. A year later they are gone. So the original ones, after using an uh, oversized tire, lasted a number of years. I don't know because I didn't buy the car as new. But those aftermarket uh, manufacturers used a uh, cheaper material like a uh, lower grade metal uh, in their parts and um, Probably they thought uh, it would take it. It should take the stress when the driver is using the regular size uh, tires, and uh, then on top of that, you carry around this extra dead weight and uh, 
you have extra fuel to uh, to pay for and also when you change the tires they are heavier so heavier for your back depends who does the tire change for you when you do the tire rotation as well is heavier for you then um, you have to put more air in the uh, in these ones the, the larger ones so if you have a flat tire it takes you longer to get the correct pressure in them and I don't see and I don't see advantages so I made that mistake of planning for that sort of a off-road adventures when I'm, I need to go in, uh, in deeper snow and stuff which didn't happen very often so a mistake that I'm paying for take care bye bye